A very interesting story this morning. If your power goes out soon or your cell phone doesn't work, solar activity may be to blame. This is no joke. They say that the sun is getting more active and scientists are concerned that it could take down power grids and satellites. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson has the story for us. Good morning, Whit. Maggie, good morning. NASA says sunstorms, five of them have had a major impact on Earth in the past century. They're not sure when the next one could hit, so scientists are trying to come up with better predictions to protect the technology we depend on. These fiery explosions blistering our sun are called solar storms. Imagine energy bursts with the strength of one billion hydrogen bombs erupting on the sun's surface. Now we are going into the peak of the solar cycle. So as we approach the peak, what happens is that the magnetic field on the sun gets twisted and uh, really uh, tense. Powerful electric charges can be sent rocketing towards Earth. In 1989, just a minor flare knocked out electricity to millions of Canadians. But in today's modern world, scientists are worried about the technology we've come to rely on. If you lose your internet, if you lose your satellite connection, if you lose your uh, electricity, uh, you, there is no Wall Street, there is nothing. I mean, it, you know, it, it's almost throwing us back 100 years. Now, companies and governments are trying to develop better safeguards. In fact, this week, the House moved to spend $100 million to protect our power grid from this rare event. Maggie. Whit Johnson in Washington. Thank you, Whit. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.